If you want to know how you can make your own pumpkin launcher in Roblox Studio, make sure you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own pumpkin launcher for Halloween in your Roblox game. So in two days, it's Halloween, and I thought, let's make a Halloween special, because why not? So I have made a pumpkin launcher, and how it works is, all you do, it, you just equip the launcher, you click it, and whatever your mouse is at, the pumpkin is going to go to that point. And then other players can collect it. So it's basically the egg hunt launcher. If like, you know, an egg on 2018, 2019, you had those egg launchers and uh, people could launch eggs, people could collect them and then put them on their avatar. That's not really the case for mine. What I did, exactly the same system, but it will just add a pumpkin to your leader stats at the top right of your screen. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. If you do in fact enjoy this tutorial and you're new to my channel, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member if you want to. And that is all I had to say. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Newbie, what do we do? Yes, good question. Uh, first of all, you, yes, you, you are going to the link in the description, and you're going to get the model and then get back to studio. So do that right now, get the model from the link in the description, and then hop back to the tutorial. Uh, if the model has like a weird name, like zombie, it's because Roblox has an internal error um, when I try to publish the model. So I just overrided some random asset, doesn't really matter, I will change the name of the, the, the model soon. Whenever Roblox fixes their internal error, HTTP 500, it is really annoying. Anyways, you want to go to view, you want to go to toolbox, you want to go to the four blocks over here, boom. And you just want to search for the model, well, for me it's zombie still, so let me just do that. Four scripts, just click OK. And then you will see this beautiful model, yes. Now, newbie, what do we do? You just put them in wherever they're told to. So, server script service, you'll see a server script, just put it in. Server script service, server storage, same story, and start your pack, same story. That's all you have to do to set this thing up. So let me just show you what scripts we are going to do. This one, this one, these, and these. This is exactly what we're going to be coding, and I'm going to start from uh, top to bottom, so don't worry about anything. So uh, we're going to be coding it now, so make sure you enjoy, sit back, and relax well not really relax go ahead and code this out type it all out write it out and um, enjoy keep on watching follow the tutorial don't miss anything if you need help join my discord so let's hop to coding right now
So ladies and gentlemen, that was all of the coding for this tutorial. Now we've entered the recap section. So newbie, what are you going to do? I am going to be explaining the code. So in the server script service script, we have, uh, we just make leader stats and we wait for the player to join. We make leader stats and we create pumpkins. Basically, that's it. Over here, when this uh, shoot pumpkin gets fired, so when you launch it, this is going to get fired. And if you do not collect it within 10 seconds, it will auto despawn. So that's pretty good. So the way that works, we set a timer of 10 seconds. We, uh, we subtract one second every second. If it's zero, we're going to fire a event, an event, and then we're going to break the loop. If you touch it, we're checking if your if your uh, if your name is the other than the person who launched it. If that's the case, we're going to give you a pumpkin and we're going to destroy the pumpkin. Uh, th this is the event, so over here, if the timer is zero, we are firing the event, and it will just auto-destroy. Basically that. In here, we are just checking for a player argument and mouse. If the argument is shoot, we are going to set some preparations. We're going to set the position. We're going to set the owner value to your name, because you're launching it. We're going to be calculating the direction, which is this. The force is going to be minus D, so minus direction to gravity, whatever. We're going to wrap it in a co uh, in a coroutine because uh, this makes... Um, so what this does, uh, when you shoot, there's going to be a little fire effect. But we just need to make sure this also runs. So this just makes it separate. And over here, we are applying the impulse for by force times pumpkin.assembly mass. And then lastly, over here, client, we are just checking where you're clicking. If it's a valid position, we're going to use that position. So... We're going to enter play mode right now. So let's do that righty righty now. We have joined the game. And apparently it does not work already. What? Okay, this is weird. Oh, this has to be leader stats. I'll make sure uh, to add that into tutorial. Oh, these bloopers are amazing. Okay. So, now that it works... <laughs> Uh, we have a pumpkin launcher over here, as you can see. Yo, pretty cool. So if we click, we're gonna shoot over here. Three, two, one, click, boom. As you can see, woo! It just flies over to that position. No errors. And if we do it over here, look, pew! And then boom, it just falls. And as you can see, I cannot collect it because it is my pumpkin. And as you can see, if we just wait a little second, look at this. It's just gonna despawn. Look, do you see that? Boom. And it just despawned. So let's spam it. do 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 as you can see, everything works perfectly fine. If we click over here, as you can see, the pumpkins are just going to shoot all the way over here. And they're just going to stack up over here. If you want to go to the other side of the map, just do this. Boom. As you can see, that also works. And this is basically the system. But let me try it out in a two-player server so you can see that the other person can actually collect the pumpkins. So right now, I am in a two-player world, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to shoot some pumpkins, as you can see. It actually works, so let me just do this over here on this screen. As you can see, it actually shoots. So this person cannot collect it. So let's get to the other one, because they're going to despawn. And as you can see, I can just walk over them. I'm getting pumpkins, and they're getting all destroyed. So let me just do this. Maybe like this. Okay, there you go, pumpkins. Okay. So let's go over to this one, and boom, it's despawning. I'm getting pumpkins. Basically that. And I can do the other way around for this player. So let me just do this. And then over here, here, whatever. As you can see, this player can collect some of them. So let's see. Oh yeah, as you can see. Uh, we can collect these, okay. But this one can collect the other ones. Because this is uh, these pumpkins. So this one only counts for that one. And this one, I can collect this one. So let me just walk over to it. As you can see, I can collect it. Boom. And I just got it. So this is how you make a pumpkin launcher in Roblox Studio. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell. And make sure you become a member if you want to. Join my Discord server. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out.